The antenna pad is without doubt the most important part of any electronic timing system. The antenna performs the job of recording birds and it is therefore important to understand the technical features of a pad in order to appreciate the relative merits of each. A brick on antenna pad is much more than just a plastic landing board. It is a sealed unit that contains intricate electronics and one or more electromagnetic fields that detect the chip carried by the bird. The chip details are then sent to the speedy clock where it is recorded with a timestamp. Brick on pads are slimline at less than one inch thick so they can fit anywhere and at 10 inches deep there is room for electromagnetic fields that are up to 50% bigger than other systems. Brickon understands the importance of choice and therefore produces four different sizes of antenna to give you the pad to suit your needs. Known as the one field, the two field, four field and six field, the term field indicates the number of copper wire electromagnetic fields sitting side by side within the pad. The width size of these four pads is for the one field 6.5 inches long, the two field is 11 inches long, the four field is 19 inches long and the big six field pad is 27.5 inches long. Pads with a single field are relatively simple but antenna pads with multiple fields are demanding to design and produce as neighbouring fields will have an undue influence over one another. As most fanciers want larger antenna pads, multiple field pads are now the norm but each brand does not use the same technology to overcome the problems encountered. In any multiple field antenna, whatever the brand, it is not possible for all fields to be active at the same time. Therefore the process of multiplexing takes place, which means that neighbouring fields are not scanning at the same time in order to avoid interference with each other. In a two field antenna for example, the number one field is active whilst field two is turned off and then a split second later field 2 becomes active as field 1 is turned off and so on. Multiplexing becomes complex once the number of fields within the antenna exceeds 2 which is why companies may take the soft option of only producing two field pads. All Bricon antenna pads have been developed so that multiplexing takes place at the maximum possible rates so that say in this six field antenna the fields numbered 1, 3 and 5 are active together and alternate a split second later with fields 2, 4 and 6 so that at any one time 50% of the fields are active. Some older technologies however are unable to operate at this level as they cannot filter out the interference between the neighbouring fields so that in their 6 field antenna only one field is active at any one time giving a multiplexing rate of little more than 16%. However, multiplexing doesn't fully solve the issue as the inactive field can still remain a source of interference, giving the need for a separation gap of a couple of inches between the fields to stop interference passing through the inactive field. Where no field exists, a dead zone is created with nothing to record the birds and therefore to guarantee that all birds are timed a tunnel is needed to guide the birds over the area on the pad where there is a field. Bricon's technological expertise has enabled it to overcome this problem and a Bricon antenna is the only brand to have been designed to operate without the need for tunnels as the fields actually overlap, therefore giving faster race clocking as it is common knowledge that pigeons do not like entry tunnels. This Bricon four field antenna pad has been set to antenna testing mode where a bleep will be heard repeatedly whenever it detects an electronic chip ring. At whichever point a pigeon steps onto the front of a brick on antenna pad there will be a field to record it. As you can hear by the bleeps the chip is detected along the full width of the pad. Obviously the internal electronics must be placed somewhere and the only spare space for this in a brick on pad is along the back edge where there are no fields. A brick on antenna pad can time multiple birds on each field on the same second as it implies a unique system of dynamic search whereby the system searches for the strongest chip signal in each field making it possible to record a chip 
whilst another is present on the same field. The chip signal is strongest in the centre of the field and a bird moving towards the centre will be recorded as another bird moves away from the centre. I will illustrate this by recording 12 electronic chips onto this four field Brickon antenna pad. As you can see all 12 birds have recorded although you won't hear all of the bleeps because many of the bleeps merge together. The first bird is on 1848.28, second bird 1848.28, as is the third, the fourth, the fifth is on 1848.29, the sixth, the seventh is also the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh and the twelfth. Therefore the first four birds on 1848.28, followed by the next eight at 1848.29. An electronic chip will easily record on a brick-on antenna pad from a distance of 3 or 4 inches or more, as can be seen by this demonstration with a block of wood. It will also record through some other substances. It is best advised to build a plywood sandwich in which to place the antenna, not only to protect the pad, but also because pigeons are happier walking on wood than plastic. Although the system will record through wood, it is important to be aware that it will not penetrate through metal. Indeed, any electromagnetic field will be adversely influenced by a metallic or electrical item and therefore antenna pads should be placed away from such interference with the area most susceptible being the 12 inches directly above and below the pad. Each brick on antenna pad has a 1.8 meter cable coming out of the back on the end of which is a T-piece connection box to which you plug in the power supply like so and also the cable that leads to the speedy clock. There is a further connector available if you wish to join additional antenna pads to the system. In summary, the antenna pad is undoubtedly the most important part of any electronic timing system, but of all the component parts within an ETS, it is within the antenna pad that there is the greatest variance between the technologies implied by different systems. The Brickon antenna reigns supreme as the best antenna pad on the market, putting the Brickon system well ahead of the field when it comes to electronic timing systems for racing pigeons.